I think there were a number of different uh, roads that led me to the American Brain Foundation. I had a number of personal colleagues and friends that um, had been involved. I'm also a member of the American Academy of Neurology and a number of other uh, organizations that uh, interact with the American Brain Foundation. And I was uh, really, um, I found the message of the American Brain Foundation uh, resonating with my own thoughts about how we should approach funding in the clinical neurosciences. I've been a big proponent of sort of de-siloing the field, as I, as I often say, cure one, cure many, is something that is uh, extremely accurate. For instance, is all very separate disease processes and have treatment plans that might be very specific huge amount of clinical and basic research is now showing that the underpinnings in some ways are related and we can capitalize on discoveries in one field and bring them to another. I think the American Brain Foundation gives me hope because of this sort of fresh way of looking at things and bringing together uh, lots of different constituents, uh, not just faculty members and scientists, and of course, that's great because we're coming from many different areas, but um, people who are coming from patient advocacy groups, from industry, we can benefit from some of the advisors that we have that are not scientists and might be really, you know, knowledgeable in, in business and innovation in science. Think about how do we translate our findings into an actual product that is used to treat or diagnose patients. Um, I like that. I like the fact that we have that spectrum on the board and, and the way of thinking um, that really is, is thinking about the whole process, not just a tiny piece of it. Um, so that gives me hope.